Here's my results printing with GTEC Silk Silver PLA. So I am going to take a look at uh, GTEC, the uh, Silk Silver PLA. First time using their Silk PLA, used some other brands, so picked up a deal here, so I thought I'd share a look at that. So I've been using some of their other filaments here lately and been pleased, so very, uh, Tightly vacuum sealed and neatly wound. Uh, the one odd thing is they uh, don't ever give a recommended temperature on there, but I will print a temp tower anyway. And, and, uh, has a sometimes they come with like a plastic wrapper on there. This does not. Uh, and uh, pretty bendy here. So, looks pretty, yeah, uh, pretty good. I'll take a quick um, weight on that and uh, check the, just do a little spot check on the filament diameter. All right, so obviously I've been busy with the uh, GTEC Silk Silver PLA. Uh, really loving this. I started with the temp tower, settled on 195. Uh, didn't really notice a lot of uh, difference in here, but uh, just kind of went, uh, you know, not real cool, but didn't want to get too hot on there. Did a normal flow calibration, pretty uh, pretty standard there. Um, just love that shiny, smooth look here. Um, love that. Um, did a uh, retraction uh, test here, which did require a little change from my normal retraction setting. So I had to increase a little bit uh, the distance and lower the um, lower the speed a little bit. So um, this is with a direct drive. Had to increase uh, from 0.8 to 1.1. And go from normally I do about 35 uh, had to go down to 32 millimeters per second and got pretty good uh, results there on the test here and on uh, all the prints haven't really seen any hairs or strings anywhere there uh, do the you know obligatory benchy which I thought turned out really really nicely uh, love that uh, another thing I collect for everything uh, filament swatch that I like to keep for all the filaments. Thought that looks really, really, really sharp. Um, and then just did a bunch of fun things. Did a little, little, little octopus. Thought that was cool. Made some toys for uh, Gravitrax here. Uh, obviously not the white, but uh, th thought this really stood out, even though it's kind of a weird weird shape uh, and I didn't go real fine resolution on there but uh, little uh, Gravitrax pieces here just look uh, look really nice sturdy uh, for that I did the uh, um, these uh, whatever you want to call handles for the drippy bucket drippy pail love those kind of a did the dark uh, silver here thought it was a nice little contrast and uh, Looks really good, and then I uh, started making Christmas ornament kind of stuff. I'm going to be doing a, obviously a lot on a tree here, so I just thought it was a really um, nice look there. So I did all these. Going to go do some more so I can really deck that out. So uh, it is really sticky on the build plate. So uh, a couple times I uh, where I was a little off on my leveling, you know, it was a little low. I actually had a little trouble getting it off, but uh, yeah, you don't have any trouble with this sticking your bed. That works uh, really well. Um, and I uh, did one of the 
infinity cubes here. Um, works really, really well for that. So uh, this is uh, just a quick look at what I've been doing with the G-Tech Silk PLA. I'm very happy with it. Probably going to get some more because uh, I'm going to burn through through it here with all my Christmas decorations. But hope this is a helpful look for you. Have a great day. Happy printing.